Fala pessoal, eu sou o Barbudo, sejam todos muito bem-vindos ao canal E no vídeo de hoje, falaremos de um novo jogo anunciado pela Crytek Que é Hunt Shoutdown O jogo estava originalmente em desenvolvimento pela Crytek USA Que desejava criar um sucessor espiritual para Darksiders Uma série de videogame e desenvolvida ainda pela sua antecessora que era Videogames e estava sob o título Hunt Horrors of Gilead Age. Após o anúncio inicial lá em junho de 2014, ou seja, já tem aí bastante tempo, a Crytek USA foi encerrada devido a problemas financeiros e o desenvolvimento do game foi levado para a sede da Crytek. Agora o jogo já tem um novo nome, que é Hunt Shoutdown. A história do jogo é a seguinte, ele vai te colocar no papel de um dos membros de uma sociedade secreta cuja função é a de caçar monstros ao redor do globo, mas como a gente pode ver nessa gameplay de fundo que vocês irão acompanhar, ainda a tarefa não será tão simples apesar de se preocupar com hordas sanguinárias o jogador também deverá tomar cuidado com outros joga com outros caçadores que possam estar próximos tendo o lado cooperativo do jogo lembrando bastante a glória de Left 4 Dead lembrando que esse gameplay de fundo que foi divulgado ele está numa versão pré alfa ou seja isso é apenas um esqueleto do que ainda está por vir tem muita coisa para ser melhorada muitas coisas para serem adicionadas o vídeo ainda mostra os diretores aí Magnus Labrant e Chris Aure caçando criaturas bizarras em algum pântano de Louisiana. Claro que os visuais estão incríveis e as mecânicas de combate cooperativo parecem estar bem, bem interessante. A princípio espera-se que cada partida dure de 20 a 40 minutos, sendo que essa variação de tempo parece ter a relação direta com o sucesso e a cooperação entre os jogadores. Além disso, os mapas serão imensos e contarão com uma série de desafios escondidos. Esse jogo ainda não tem... Uma, uma data oficial de lançamento, então a gente espera, eu espero que até o início do ano que vem a gente tenha mais notícias aí, talvez boas notícias. Bom, se você não quer perder nenhuma novidade do mundo dos games, uh, inscreva-se no canal, ative o sininho de notificações, porque é através dele que toda vez que um vídeo novo for lançado, você será notificado. Eu vou encerrando meus comentários para que eu vou aumentar o áudio dessa gameplay, até mesmo para melhorar a imersão de vocês no jogo. Galera, fico por aqui, um forte abraço a todos e até o próximo. And in, so the whole point with this game, with the AI, is to we want to create the unknown here and always make you guess what's around the corner here, right? Like, uh, is it a player? Is it an AI? What could it be? Uh, and oh, okay, I'm missing it. So this is the the detector mode. I'm, I'm spotting like dark energy in the world. It helps me to guide around. If I get there, I can connect, kind of like uh, I have some superpowers to to connect with the boss, uh -huh. and that's going to narrow down his location. Right? Is that is that what creates the dark energy that you see? Is the yeah, there's like a detector mode. I have a bit of hell inside of me. I have a skill, right? So when I when I use this one, I can see I can see a little bit of the underworld, right? Oh, oh good. So this here, right there, right? I can see that there's something going on in that house, but I don't know necessarily. Sure. What, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So there's some there's some danger in there. There's something there. There's a, there's a clue we want to get to. Okay. okay. If we interact with it, we, uh, we make a temporarily uh, connection with the boss, and in this time we can see through his eyes, right, and try to narrow down his location. Yeah. And at the same time, obviously we've got you know there's a bunch of other players all trying to do the same thing. They're yeah. Trying to find these are like mag. Yeah. You know. uh, these are like magnets for other players. Other players are searching for the same thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. So if you don't play carefully and watch out here and do some teamwork, you might be in shit. Oh, so this this is like the goal. Yeah. Ah, so th this is the first clue to the boss, right? Okay. So, as you see now, oh. I'm going to make a connection. To the pit of hell. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, obviously, I'm seeing into I'm seeing the target's eyes, right? We've actually had situations where players have done this, and we've seen other teams Fight, currently about fighting. to get Oh, right. dude, I just figured out what that was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my it's God. An, it's an arachnid. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. might see him a little bit more later. And, then, yeah. and, and this is to. also like, so we're jumping a bit here, right? So we took the third clue here. Okay. And and, and in classic survival game scenario, right? You have already spent some ammo. You yep. want to go maybe to a supply point, right? Yep. But as always, the shit is uh, in the shitty spot. So it's, mm. again, high risk, high reward gameplay. Should I go there or not? Because people might snipe me as I go there, right? Yeah. Right. So you're not just you're not just searching for for the beast, the monsters. And stuff oh, you're like gearing that. up you're to your advantage, right? Yeah, but you're defending against other players. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. For ca so uh, in this case, uh, I uh, send in my body first, right? <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> 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 go get a meat shield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It's always the Brit goes in first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Is this you guys actually playing? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. Really so, cool. so he can legit send you in, then yeah. he dies permadeath, you live, and you keep all your stuff. Ah, uh, we yeah. have a reviving mechanic, right? So we really want to keep uh, you playing together here. Okay. Gotcha. So, okay. But if you revive, they lose uh, a health chunk. Mm. 
Okay. And if you arrive again, you end the mall and shit, basically. Okay. So here we, uh, so basically this game is a very social game. So what you don't hear in here is the commentary, right? Right. It's like me, me and him constantly chatting what we're hearing and stuff. And if he gets scared, I get scared and, and I get jumpy, right? That, that, <laughs> that's the yeah. part, right? And obviously the VoIP and stuff in game is going to be positional. It's 3D as well, so you can have. Nice. I love that. Yeah, yeah, I love great. that. So if you pay attention there, there's like a there's a PVP battle going on beneath us because everybody is kind of going now to where the target location is. Mm -hmm. We oh, yeah, we have that. yeah, and we have nothing really to gain from going there, right? Like we can shoot him, but they don't have the bounty yet. Right. So we're going to go in first. Yeah, what you're actually going to see for the uh, next two kind of shots here is uh, two of our special AI. The first one we're going to see just coming up here will be uh, the hive. These, by the way, are dogs. If you go close to them, they're going to start barking. Other players are going to hear you. They're sure. going to attract the AI other players. Like the map should speak to you, yeah. right? Right. The map, and I can play chess kind of. Where are the other guys? Where should I go? No, and that's... that's this is a crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. crazy. <laughs> She just wants to give you a big nasty hug. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw him uh, the opening five she's minutes. She's full of bugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's a long range enemy with like swarm bursting out of her chest. Oh my god, you're <laughs> yeah. terrible people. And this is classic like you're bleeding, you need bandages, all that stuff, right? Yeah, that's uh, something I was going to ask you about the healing items. Like, probably like they take time. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. you're basically defining your class as your. Here comes another bad boy. He's called a meathead because he doesn't have any head. <laughs> 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 Yeah, he's using basically leeches on the ground as a way of seeing yeah. and hearing and understanding what's going yeah. on. So we went too close to them. They got triggered, and he's now okay. Uh, yeah, so our game starts really stealthy because you don't want to be known your position. Right. But sometimes you just have to bomb your way through, right? Well, yeah. I mean, if that guy sees you, it's yeah. This is like hot spots of actions. Yeah. The lighting's outstanding in this game. Uh, it's, it's all about the mystery and the darkness and the unknown. Yeah. And obviously, now, sorry. this is per this, oh, sorry. So here, we are, here we are. This is the boss fight. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, human mixed with a spider. He climbs on walls and roofs. Uh, you need to be sure to be fast here, because there could be another team coming and fighting him at the same time, right? Oh, that's not good. No. Yeah. So in, in our game is very dynamic. It's like if you and me were playing it, right, and we hear these guys playing it, we might as well just wait for them to do it, and then we go in for the kill in the end, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you let them take take the brunt. Yeah. It's, it's a perfectly legitimate strategy Ooh. for players to go in and try yeah. to hunt yeah. another team. At this point, I'm being jumped by... Uh, yeah, they, he just jump attacks and everything, right? Uh. And as you see, you see him one time, then he's gone the other. Yeah. He is, that is a super quick spider. Yeah. So uh, at this point now, we have killed him in order to get the bounty. We need to banish him to hell. Now I understand kind of like I'm getting more and more like you guys are bounty hunters. You want to yep, banish these absolutely. guys and you get paid. Exactly that. And when we do, there's a burning spot on the map opens up. Like every player in the whole map now sees where this is. This is why it's called Hunt Showdown. Bam, right? Everybody going to go there. Ah. Everybody going to duke it out. Dude, yeah. that's, 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 that's like wild. actually really cool. So the, the other interesting thing about that is, it's like I mentioned before, is it's a legitimate strategy for other players to just ignore the clues, ignore the target, and hunt the other teams who are hunting the target. Yeah. You yeah. can stalk another series of yeah. hunters going out there. As you see in the left corner up there, there's like a little timer ticking, so everybody kind of have time to get there. Oh, okay. Uh, here I'm being, uh, I'm being uh, badly. slapped. <laughs> right? uh, 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 so here's where we have like the revive mechanic, right? Like okay. uh, I died. He can revive me, but I lose a health, uh, I lose a health chunk, right? Right. Okay. So basically, for us, since we got there first, this is a defensive mission at this point, right? Yeah. And all the threats we had coming in are now perfect for us because we will hear dogs barking if the players come in too close to them. So we can all again like listening to the environment and use it to your advantage, right? That's that's actually something I, I wanted to touch on as far as the sound design goes, like. Mm. I love it when you when you actually have to use your yeah. ears as a part of the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. So we call it like reckless players or dead players, man. Yeah. Now uh, this is towards yep. this is towards the end. So we have the bounty. We try to shoot ourselves out uh, uh, of this compound. No, that's what I'm saying. Like when you get the bounty, are you do they, if they kill you? Do you, they get they it? They get it. Yeah, sure. yeah. Oh, okay. And again, you have that dark vision, so I can locate that bounty, right? Um, what you're about to see here, by the way, uh, in just one second, he's going to throw what we call the concertina bomb. So this is a basically an area denial. It's like a barbed wire gadget bomb. That you have, right? Uh, it kind of denies you oh. from going across the bridge, and it can yeah. fill up rooms and other yeah. stuff like that. And then our goal is to get to the exit point, and then you're going to get cash, unlocks, and everything like this. Yeah. Now, if so now, if somebody's scared of uh, uh, if somebody's scared of uh, permadeath, the whole thing with our game is like, yeah, you die, but everything you unlock saves in the bloodline. Okay. And when you recruit a new hunter, you can put new.